get the ball. Good boy. Can we get off now? I'm Ryan. Come on then. I don't believe in dads leaving the girlfriend or fiance or whatever to bring up the kids on me. Yeah? It's gone, mommy. Is it gone? <laughs> My name's Katrina. I think Ryan's very unusual because every lad I've met, they'll, um, it's like I've slept with this many people and I've got this many babies. Go on, then. I know one lad, I'm not going to say his name, but I know one lad who's slept with over 16 girls in, in one week and he's got three babies and he don't take, take care of none of them. When I told the father that I was pregnant, he didn't really say anything. He was just like, all right, and then walked off and went out. Never really spoke to me about it or anything like that. I let him know that I had him, and he asked if he could see him. So I let him see him, and that went to meet him. But he wasn't interested, and the baby was interested in me. I can't really speak for um, male because I don't understand what, what they think and that. But with my boyfriend, with my ex, he... He was the one that was praising and saying that he was ready and he's going to do all of this. So it, I don't know. It was confusing. Maybe he did get scared or he felt pushed away. I don't understand. Well, his dad, um, he don't really have anything to do with him that much. He sees him when he pees. Um, last time he seen his dad was about two, three months ago. Now he hasn't been in touch at all. A few insulting texts and phone calls, but nothing, nothing to do with Lucas. Uh, his loss. A girl's vulnerable. They are really vulnerable. Most girls are. And they'll just be like, oh, really? They'll fall for it. I think he did take advantage of me because I was young. Some of them will go and have sex with a girl just to prove a point. It's only since this year where I've actually decided I ain't ever going to get him to live with us. I ain't going to get the family that I wanted. Lads, if they don't wear a condom, they're better than the lads that do wear a condom in the lads' minds. Sometimes he hadn't even rung me in like a month, two months to even see how they are. And yeah, it is horrible. It, it gets you angry as well because you think so far. Well, the one minute they're seeing them and then the next they're not, not. And it's like you're confusing the heads, really. And it's like you just feel more sorry for them. And at night times, you just like sit there and you get like that thing in your throat where you really want to cry for them because it's heartbreaking. It's like. Do they still know who the dad is? You think that sometimes, don't you? Think, oh, do you still know who your dad is? Sing, Sing it. I thought Ryan would leave me. A lot of my friends um, that I went to school with, but found out they're pregnant, but they haven't got a father around for them for their baby. And I thought, oh my god, I'm gonna be a single parent. When I found out she was pregnant, I did want her to get rid of a baby, uh, but when people I know who've got kids who stayed by them, I watch them bringing up their kids and I'm like, well, yeah, i got to do that for my kids. And we go out as a family, and I mean, we always will be a family. It's true to make a baby, that's all I can really say, and being there does help. People that have that think that relationships just about sex and that if they sleep with somebody, that all of a sudden means that this person loves them and gonna stay with them for the rest of their life, then they're so wrong. Grow up. <laughs> Grow up. You're gonna do it sooner or later.